Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 72 of Grim Dawn Definitive Edition on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were at the end of the last part, people. And we just reached this Cairn Docks Rift, which is in the Sunbane Oasis. And this whole area, in fact, is undiscovered. Now, I'm also curious as to whether that doorway is also... Well, look. Crack straight in, shall we? Yes, that's an undiscovered cave. And we'll definitely be going in there. Let's go in, take a look. Uh, the only thing I did off camera was I just sold the f tiny few bits that I had in my inventory. Of which, well, we've just picked those up. But we only had about three things in there. The game has reloaded since, but it doesn't matter because we just reached a new area. Durg's Dell, oh, dangerous domain. Could be some good XP in here. Durg's Den. Oh, that's Durg himself, look. There he goes. Reputation bonus for Homestead. Actually, Homestead and the Witch one are uh, two that are heading towards the top level of... Ooh, oh, that's two-handed. That's why. Well, it's only a little bit less more useful than the one we've just uh, one we've got on. Two-handed rifle. Right, Dirk, what were you hiding? Well, this was a tiny wee cave, wasn't it? <clears throat> I suppose, and it <laughs> wouldn't have been a bad rifle pickup if we hadn't had one that was uh, just about as good already. But that is most definitely all there is to see in here. We definitely didn't miss anything with regards to shooting Durg. No, we didn't. There was a lot more to pick up, but I've got the filter on, obviously. I get the feeling Durg must be a quest of some description that I've never picked up yet. Wow. Beautiful section this is going to be, I think. Shall not pass.
strange dead end. I don't know. Another you shall not pass over here. Please tell me that is two legendaries there, people, and not just some pickup. Exalted treads of protection. Holy shit. Scythe of Tenebris. Two handed axe. Oh, it is as well. Well, that's legendary boots. Fuck me. 706 armor. Let's have a look. We'll have a closer look at them in a sec. Vestments of severed faith. Oh, that's for spirit. It's a body piece. But it's a lightweight one. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm anywhere near close to Spirit of 468. But we've got boots, though. <clears throat> Two legendaries in one drop. That was ridiculous. We've only just sorted our boots out, haven't we? <laughs> it's a bit frustrating. Well, we've got plus 9% movement speed on them, which isn't quite as good as our plus 12% at the moment. Mm. Not convinced the perks on them. What's that granted skill? Wraith walk. You step through the veil to become like the dead, barely perceiving the physical realm around you. Skill you can activate any time. Plus 20% movement speed. 30% chance to avoid melee attacks and 30% chance to avoid projectiles. Decent. To be fair, those boots are the same level as the ones I'm wearing. I feel like... I feel like the perks on my blue ones are better than the perks on the, the legendary ones. Because I'm getting plus 42% fire, plus 49% cold, and I'm only 35% cold on the boots. It's got plus 55% ether, which we're not using. It's got plus 42% frostburn damage. And we get 44% frostburn damage on the other ones. Uh, plus 20 defensive ability is new. We don't get that from the existing ones. Uh, 9% movement speed is less than the 12% we've got on. And... Four percent physical resistance is fuck all. Seems a bit weird. Uh, well, I suppose that's not a yeah. That's just a general four percent on. And then twenty-two percent vitality resistance, which I don't think we're overly blessed with vitality. To be fair, but we'd lose fourteen percent chaos and twenty-three percent pierce. I don't think we can afford to lose the pierce. As far as I can remember, anyway. I've got 26% over in pierce to be fair, so we could lose the pierce and still be fine. Uh, chaos, 
is way over, so we can afford to lose that. Uh, I'm just not sure what the great benefit is, apart from obviously the armour, which is about 100 odds more. 120 more, maybe. And obviously the perk that we're getting with it. I'm also getting plus two to my bursting rounds on the ones I'm wearing. So I'm not I'm not overly convinced I'm getting much out of those legendary boots. Apart from they might have a cool look on them. What do they look like? Should we see what they look like? <laughs> nice glowy boots. Right, I think I'm going to stick with what I've got for now. I'm not seeing what the great benefit is of those boots. If I was using ether damage, it'd be awesome. Oh, wow. It was nice to see a couple of legendaries drop, though. Just what I really want, what I really, 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 really want, people, is a legendary fucking set of guns. And I, I don't think I've had one legendary weapon that's been for my character. some fairly decent XP around these ear parts though. So. Right, this is one of those long and winding long and winding roads do 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 that I'm gonna get lost in. Well, I've got another rift ahead of me. Well, night time fell rather swiftly there. Good grief. Well, I might as well discover the rift gate. Some main oasis rift. Alright. So we should come back this way. I'm sure that light radius is a hell of a lot more than it used to be. This was yeah, this was to do with the boots, wasn't it? This light radius. I think. No, I can't remember what it was now. I put something on. That seemed to suggest it was less light radius, but ended up being more light radius. It seems to be, have ended up being more light radius. Yeah, it's going to escape me now. I'm not sure what it was, but it could have been a medal or something, amulet. But without any shadow of a doubt, I'm getting a massive, <laughs> massive light on uh, on the ground there. Sure, it's more than I had before. sakes like Jurassic Park in here
Athena term. Oh, it's a quest item. Glyph of the Elusive Assassin. seeing anything on the quests at the minute that suggests that's anything we need yet <clears throat> it could be one of those quests we pick up from someone later and go oh you mean this little thing I have on me already I was actually heading this way because I saw a bloody entrance which is now behind me <laughs> I was going to go in the entrance or secret cave I should say whatever it is Let's just go to all the dark spots. Back to where we started. <clears throat> the burning shores. Well, that's a dead end. You shall not pass. Definitely not. Back at the rift. That's the that's the rift we started at. So I've come right back down the middle. That was the den we've already done over there. Seems reasonable. <clears throat> Shall not part. Well, actually, you're not going to come over to me, are you? <laughs> Fucking Uber, that ice move now, isn't it? Ooh. 
Well, I think that's where my, my entrance might be. side of that broken bridge What lurks in this place, Sanctuary of Horan? Devotion. Ooh, 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 ah. Yeah, big loser. Got killed by my auto move. That was a shitload of poison acid shit, wasn't it? Bloody hell, fire. Mm. Good grief. This shrine is cleansed. Mm. 
Oh, heavy boots, that's why. Channeling Orb of the Covenant is a epic offhand. And we've got a point. Right, I think we had a plan here, didn't we? What was it, people? Remind me. It's been a few days since I played this. <laughs> uh, pretty sure we found ourselves a little gem that we were upgrading. Where are you, my precious? The yellow ones we've invested in, isn't it? Ah, oh, it was the top. Was it at the top? Yeah, it was this one, wasn't it? Because I got plus 30 to all damage. Plus 30% to all damage. Then we got an energy one with a bit of extra health. And now we're getting 20% chaos resistance, which we don't need, but it means we could take it off of somewhere else. Uh, Eye of Korvac. The Eldritch Gaze of Korvac falls upon you in an, an, an expanding ring piercing through any foes unfortunate enough to be in the way. I need to assign that to something. Well, not yet, but uh, I thought that, yeah, here we go, there's more stuff, isn't there? Oh, plus 50% to all damage and shit. Might do those first. Yeah, that's why I was doing it. Another plus 50% to all damage. It's insane, this one. So, a bit annoying that this one's kind of uh, not required, but anyway. The next ones are going to give us plus 50% damage. I'll do those before I do the move, I think. I don't know actually, it seems to be a pretty uber move this. 100% chance on critical attack. Might be worth doing it. Just for the sheer fun of it people. There seems to be more devotion things in the DLC than there is in the main game. <laughs> seem to find them a lot in this later section. Fuck, who's this dude? He did. Or she. Hard to tell from that angle. The Trials of Horan. I thought I had the Trials of Horan already. Look, mate, your big boss fella's dead. Just give it up already, alright? What's happening? Didn't half suck the health off you that move, did it? Curse or whatever it is. A rare medal.
knew that was going to happen. So I feel like that's going to take me out of the tomb. But we haven't discovered everything yet. There's another entrance over here. Right, we can try it now. Will it just took a zoot? A bit rowdy. to be heading down that way. That's the Sunbase, uh, Sunbane Oasis Rift. Hmm, not sure. I feel like that's where... No, I don't know, let's go and have a look. Yeah, it must be this way we meant to go, yeah. That's my dude, Steve. Stop shooting at your own fellas. Mighty chasm. Getting a bit rowdy. Holy shit, that was taking my health off somewhat.
That's not a new rift gate, is it? Sure, that's the one we've just done. dead. Got an ancient heart out of him. Glyph of the Ghastly Retreats. I'm actually, now that I've delved into other things, I'm actually quite tempted to try <laughs> another class out. Buy me points back and try another class. Right, well, I think it's just this uh, cave to go into now. Not overly sure which class I would try out, though. Maybe some sort of magey thing. Howling Chasm.
What the shit? <laughs> One handed range, which seems to be slightly better than my offhand. Not convinced though about the uh, types of damage it's doing. King dogs. Ooh, going off map. There right, we are. Holy shit, what's this? Shall not pass. So, where the feck is that going to go? If it takes me out, that's going to be really frustrating, though. Come back to it. Yeah, because another entrance up here. Cave entrance. I don't seem to have fought a big bossy type character down here though, that I can remember anyway. That's where we came in. Well, it's got to be the one that's off map, surely. Just for the sheer... ...interest of it. Howling depths, blimey. That's taking us somewhere else. It's living up to its name. <laughs> oh well, I think I'll have a sip of something, people.
Who has travel log? believe the guff it's given me is mind you epic one-handed ranged marauder's judgment part of a set and it's 50 to 64 fire damage all right it's because of the acid damage on these ones i think then boosted up with dreeg's blah And there's more. <laughs> he did. Cult of Bismel. Cult of Dreek. Cult of Soleil.
part two. Ready? Wow, the howling death's gone for a while, isn't it? Boss fight, I can see it, surely. Something is fucking hammering my health there. Oh shit. Think we got him. Think we got the big fella. Third seal of Morganeth. Oh, hello. Is that not part of the? Uh... Oh, that's no, Mogdadron. Morganeth. I'm going to assume that is a quest item of some description. Alright. Two hours letter. Hey, where's that gone? Well, I think that is probably all we've got to pick up in this here part. Really, dude? Your boss is dead. that's going to take us out.
sword. Primal instinct. It's taking us back out into the chasm. Uh, that's where we went into that place, wasn't it? Yeah, because this is our off... Off map. Basalt Kraga. Uh, basalt Crags, even. Or Basalt Crags. Basalt. Question B, is there going to be a rift nearby or nay? Not too far away from level 68. It's one of these areas again. Primal Instinct, what is that? Mythical Relic. God's sake. Where the hell did it go? There it is.
Ha! I see a rift before me. Bit of a pathway we've not done up there, isn't there? Someone shouting. Vanguard of the three. It's a new area by the looks of it, new little tune. Yeah, Vanguard of the three. New little town spot by the looks of it. Repeating myself. Well, the shop's kind of handy because we've got a lot of stuff that we don't really need. See anything you like? Sell it all. Not going to use it. Empowered Marauder's Fury. I don't think we've had that gun before. Not visually, as a visual piece. I might have done. A couple of quest items there, didn't we? part of a set. Where's the uh, oh, hello, Vanguard must hold? Right, where's chest? Where's storage guy? Is there a storage guy? That's the question. It might not be a full on camp, right enough. Uh... Or it could be that it is once I open up more of it. Whoa. Ritualist. What the hell is this? All right, well, we'll most definitely just have a little bit of a... I can teleport back right enough if I wanted to. <coughs> Woo, excuse me, dusty in these parts. See what's left of my wares. See you around. See you around, my friend. Right, where are we at then? Blimey. Right, we're way up here. 
So we're sort of entering this last ma well. Yeah, basalt crags, that's where we're just running around. Made a fair distance then already in that DLC. It's a smaller landmass, but there's about as many things to find in it in that top section. So, I think we'll have a little chat to these people. Uh, well, it might be worth returning, actually, and seeing if anything we've done there is actually... Where have we got on our quests? Collect Ancient Heart. Oh, that's not for anything. Assist Bismil Cult. Slay Galfang and claim its core. Bring Galfang's core to Elaine at the Conclave, in the th the conclave of the Three. Hmm. I haven't done any of that yet. Anyway, there might be a few. For I noticed that in the other part, in the other town, there was a, an exclamation mark above a few people's heads and a couple of quest markers. So we'll go and have a chat to them again in the next part. And we can store a couple of items as well while we're on with it. As we have gone over the hour mark there. Thoroughly enjoyed that. It has been an honour and privilege serving for you once again in Grim Dawn Definitive Edition on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.